Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got another beer from the Pressure Drop Brewing Company out of Tottenham in North London. And it's their Even Robots Dream. Very spring-like floweriness to the can, really cool. So this is a, sorry about that, it's, it's the light at this time of day. It's a double New England IPA then coming at 8.5% ABV. Um, hops in this then are Citra and Sabro. Uh, it's canned on the 12th of January of 2021. Best by the 12th of May of 2021, so we're good there. So yeah, 8.5%, these guys, um, to produce some amazing stuff. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to get hold of some of these locally from the Little Swift in Margate, home delivery. So yeah, if it wasn't for them getting these in, I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be trying them at the moment. But they do, so I am. So beer in the glass then. Wow, that looks juice bomb. You can see it's still a bit of daylight out there. It's been a glorious few days recently. Um, so yeah, very orangey, very murky. Um, there's no light coming through this at all. There's a little touch of transparency just below the, the head of the beer as you look up through it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's it's really pulpy. Um, it's, it's more of a kind of, it's got a, a slight kind of a more of a mango in colour. Um, very bright. Let's give it a swirl and a sniff then. Another beer of Sabro hops then. Um, it's quickly becoming lots of people's favourite hop these days, even more so than Citra potentially, but these two together, mm, it'd be interesting. Let's get an aroma. Oh wow, big big juicy pineapple notes. Yeah. But yeah, pineapple chunks straight out of the tin. Oh. Yeah, very citrusy. I'm not picking up particularly any kind of coconut um, vibes from the Sabro hops. A little bit perfumey, a uh, little bit, yeah, wildflowers. That's obviously, like a bit like kind of sweet nectar. You, you know, you get that that real sweetness from uh, from wildflowers. Floral for sure, obviously, but yeah. What a lovely smelling beer. All the tropicalness you could expect for the style and from the brewery. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Definitely sharp, sharp pineapple. There's a bit of a zing to the beer. I don't know the IBUs, but it's definitely it's definitely got a, a very pronounced, I'd say, sharp edge to it. But it's not it's not crazy. It's it's more a slightly blunted sharp edge, if you know what I mean. But definitely get it on the back of the palate. Mmm. So very low carbonation. Um, I'd say medium body um, is a double IPA after all, uh, 8.5 you're not picking that up. But the overall kind of, uh, th there is a decent mouthfeel to the beer as well, despite that kind of blunt sharpiness of that pineapple. I mean, it's the body of the beer. You know it's a bigger beer just by the body. It's not through alcohol. It's just the body of the beer. Um, other information. They, they, they normally give a bit more information than this. Um, just says add, uh, add Citra and Sabro and then see what comes out the other side. Uh, hazy, soft and juicy with a fruit machine fantasy. 
So, there you go. Tasty notes, juicy pineapple dreams. So, I mean, it's all the pineapple, it's so obvious. There is a slight kind of, I say oiliness, that, that kind of uh, hoppy kind of slickness you get. It's very clean. It's actually, just noticing then, it's, it's leaving the palate slightly dry the more I'm drinking it. Yeah, tropical fruit notes galore. Very citrusy, very juicy. Very, it's got there's like a, a a grapefruit edge lurking underneath. Not picking up too much in the way of uh, coconut. There's more of a tang I'm getting. That's more than citra hops. It, it's definitely that sabro esque kind of quality coming through. Slightly musky. Maybe a little bit dank as well, but overall. Wonderful beer. Um, the, the, these guys just produce some some of the best best beers in the country. They're certainly one of the breweries that produce some of the best beers in the country for sure. Um, I'd be really happy to once once things fingers crossed and all that good stuff um, die down a bit and things open up a little bit more in the summer. I'm, I'm going to be sure to go to their tap room a few times. I think um, it, it's on my uh, to do list. You know, many to-do lists. Like we all have things we, you know, I've got to do this, this, and this. Everyone's got them, I'm sure. Mine's to go to this brewery's tap room and uh, and enjoy, enjoy a few more of these wonderful beers on tap as well. Mm. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. So that's uh, Pressure Drop Brewing out of London in the UK, Tottenham in London, because there is a Pressure Drop. In, in the States, I believe, somewhere. I don't know if it's in New York or... I've noticed that in the past. But yeah, this is the UK in London. Even a robot's dream. Their double New England IPA. At 8.5% ABV. So yeah, check them out. All the links will be down below for the breweries, social media outlets, their, their online web shop. Um, do check them out, or if you're local, keep an eye on the Little Swift in Margate. They, they, they do do home delivery, or, uh, free home delivery after £20 you purchase, which I, I try and do, you know, even when there's stuff there that I've had before, and uh, I, I will try and uh, make an order up just for drinking beers, because they've got some great stuff in, and it helps them out, and, and you know, for sure. So uh, do check them out as well, good friends of mine. Uh, check out my playlist as well for the Pressure Drop Brewery in London uh, down below. And um, yeah, you'll take care. Keep safe and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.